אם המעוז האחרון הזה לא יעצור את ההידרדרות המוסרית, הערכית של מדינת ישראל, אני הולך לבצע תג מחיר במרצחים. שיהיה ברור לכל העולם, שישב בטוח שאנחנו לא ניתן לטרוריסטים לצאת מגבולות הארץ. ואם הם יצאו מגבולות הארץ, תדעו לכם, יושבי ארצות הברית ואנגליה, מדינת ישראל שמה לכם זין! Tensions were high on Monday afternoon when the High Court of Justice concluded the hearings on the petitions, followed by the families of terror victims. The court did not immediately make a decision regarding the petition to stop the release of the 1,027 prisoners in exchange for Gilad Shalit. Today in the court was uh, playing uh, in a done game, done game, because uh, we showed them that a couple of laws broke for this deal, and they said, that's what we can do. You know it from the beginning. In addition to the dozens of supporters of the petitions who came to the hearing, Noam Shalit, the father of the captured soldier, came to testify in support of the deal to return his son. But many of the terror victims' family members were angered by Shalit's presence. <laughs> למה לא היית עם אשתך אתמול בלילה? מה היה לך לחפש פה היום חוץ מאת הדם שלנו? שים סרט שחור על הדגל בבית שלך, לפחות תעשה כאילו אכפת לך מאיתנו. Before the hearing, the Almagor Terror Victims Association marched from Mount Herzl to the court to show support for the petitions. It's so sad that terror victims have to come and to protect the right of the victims, the right of those who have been killed. This is a situation it's showing how the farsa that the Hamas is success, the success of the Hamas to kidnap a soldier and by that they kidnap the whole Israeli society and the system of the law. The government has already set the schedule and made preparations for Gilad's release on Tuesday, although the court decision on the petitions is expected to be given later Monday night. Benjamin Spear reporting for the Jerusalem Post.